Yo, what's going on YouTube? Energenic here back with another video. So in today's video, guys, we are going to be taking a look at this new buzzer beater, the new buzzer beater cards that just dropped. Now, I actually woke up late today, so this video is going to go out a little later than I typically drop these kinds of videos because when these videos come out, I typically drop them like as soon as I can. But I woke up late today, so I apologize. But we've got the new cards. So we've got Opal Jamal Crawford, Opal Patrick Ewing. We've got Pain Diamond Brandon Roy and a Diamond Clay. So only four cards, nothing too crazy. But I'm going to show you how you can snipe these guys. And then also um, just we're going to look at them and see how good they are. So yeah, let's just get straight into this video, man. So if you want to snipe these guys, first off, let's look at how much this Jamal Crawford is going for. And we're just going to put Team Knicks because I want to see him specifically. It doesn't seem like he's too expensive. He's got 40 Hall of Fame badges and he's a shooting guard slash point guard. How tall is he? Like 6'3", 6'5", 6'5", okay. I was way off, but he seems like an okay card. He might not be too much profit though, but we'll see. We'll see what he's like. Um, He's going for that much. How much is Patrick Ewing going for? Okay, now nah, he's going for way more. He's going for way more. We're not going to look at his attributes and badges yet. So obviously you can just do the the normal opal filter which would be opal minimum buyout and you can see every opal in the game the only one that you wouldn't want to really get is iverson but then caruso at the same time will make you a little bit profit not much crazy off of caruso but if you see a jamal if you see a um a patrick just pick them up obviously you want to take advantage of that but if you want to snipe those guys specifically, I mean, I don't recommend doing this because there really is no purpose in doing it because there aren't really too many Opals that ruin the filter yet. But you can just go Opal Team Knicks if you want to snipe those guys specifically. Well, I, I, I was getting ready to, to buy that. I thought that was a snipe popping up. I forgot to put the minimum buyout. But yeah, this is what you can do if you wanted to see those two guys. But like I said, I would just use the, the normal Opal filter because I don't really see a purpose in using this. Why would you use this when you can see them on a normal open filter? So it's up to you, bro. It's up to you what you want to do. If you like, if you don't really don't want to see Iverson, then you can do that. But yeah, that's that's an option for you. And yeah, so let's go into the next one, which is going to be just Brandon Roy. Literally, you just search Brandon Roy and you just put Pink Diamond. He's the only Pink Diamond Brandon Roy available. So you want to see how much he goes for. So let's see. Is he a buy now? Let's find out. Let's find out. Yes, he is. So you want to see how much he goes for. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to assume he goes for a decent amount. Let's let's put this to 70K. All right. So this is a good card to snipe. If you want to, you know, get yourself a good snipe. We're going to find out what the lowest one is. No 87,000. Okay. Th this card must be pretty good then. If he's not going for that cheap. All right. Seems like he's like. 95 94 no this one's 89 all right so what i would do is i would put my max buyout to 80k and then i take off the minimum buyout but let's get this to 80k it's hard to scroll through this stuff sometimes let's get let's get that off put the max bid to 100k and then now you've got brennan roy pink diamond and you've got max buyout 80k maximum bid 100k and then you just keep refreshing and then you see anything that pops up if his price does if his price does go down then obviously you just adjust it so let's say he drops to 70k i would put the max buyout to 60k and then just do the same thing so this is you can obviously get brandon run this filter good luck good luck honestly i'm not saying it's gonna be hard but you know you can see one you can definitely see one i mean all kinds of snipes go up so if you just spend some time on this filter you, you probably will see a brandon roy go up for cheap and then you should be pretty good at that point but um yeah, so we're getting to the next one, which is just going to be for clay. And then I think I have one more, which can, which is actually might be like a, a really big filter. But let's look at this clay. So I want to see what this guy is going for. This is the only diamond clay on the market, I believe. So let's see. He only has got 12 Hall of Fame badges. So I'm not really sure why they release this clay. Maybe for budget players. But... I mean, I guess he's okay. He's nothing crazy, though. Let's see, 16K. All right, he's not 16K either. So let's go up to like 20 or close to 20.
all right so he's going for around 20k what i would do is i'd set my max buyout to around 15 and uh, no, nah, nah, i would set it to like you couldn't you could put 15 you won't be getting much profit though i'd put it to 10 i'd put it to 10 and then i'd put the max bid to 100k and then at that point you're just sniping diamond clay and i feel like diamond clay is more likely to show up than brandon roy i mean probably is way more likely to show up than brandon roy so if you get one for 10k or under that's a w snipe that keep it or flip it do whatever you want to do and then you got yourself you know a nice little snipe and you can continue to do this to get get yourself some profit i hope that definitely helps so the next filter it's a it's about the buzzer beater set so as you guys know they've been adding a, a ton of buzzer beater cards right so here's what you can do none of these they don't lock in for anything it started off with just four and then it just kept adding more and more and more and more and more so what you want to do is just go buzzer beater go theme buzzer beater find the cheapest buzzer beater so i'm not sure how much it is it is so no color no color find the cheapest buzzer beater no color so with tony kukoc or paul pierce let's lower that a little bit let's go to like 13. all right it's even lower it's significantly lower Five thousand. i don't know if that's a snipe i i i just bought that because i assumed that was a snipe bro that, that was probably it probably was it probably was i hope i hope it was i hope it was let's see all right yeah see that was a little bit of a snipe because none of the none of them are going for that much if you see paul pierce is going for around 93 9300 so i would set my buyout to around six i'd go like six thousand five hundred i feel like that's a good price and then put the max bid to 100k and then at that point don't put any color you just got buzzer beater max bid 100k maximum bio 6500 and literally you can see any buzzer beater card i'm talking opals i'm talking um pink diamonds anything bro i mean obviously what are the chances you're seeing opal but literally you're sniping all of the new buzzer beater cards that just came out not not the ones that just came out but all the buzzer beater cards from the past and my stuff is taking forever to load bro so you know just keep refreshing you see diamonds pink diamonds opals all of that good stuff bro so definitely do that you guys just saw i caught that paul pierce snipe and i was just trying to check how much he was going for i wasn't even trying to snipe him so nothing that's not bad at all i make what almost 4,000 mt off that snipe so you know pretty good pretty good so yeah just use this filter i would probably use this filter and opal filter the most and then i would use the clay or the brandon roy filter but it's up to you whatever you want to do if you really want brandon roy or clay you can do that but yeah but now we're going to look at these uh two opals because i want to see what they're like so let's go buzzer beater and look at jamal look at his attributes and stuff let's compare him to uh i feel like jordan and tracy are unfair but whatever let's see 97 mid range 95 three he's a great shooter you know he's gonna be crazy with the with the dribbling you know that for a fact his passing is insane of course his defense is 90 that's good 92 perimeter interior is gonna be terrible rebounding is not gonna be good pretty fast though 96 speed not too much of a crazy card he's only got 11 gold badges he's got 40 on hall of fame he's gonna have these shooting badges volume shooter catch and shoot floor general difficult shots aggro tier dropper relentless finisher ankle breaker tyler shooter slippery over range extender quick draw dimer pickpocket ice and veins clamps Hot Star, Hazel Hunter, Green Machine, Lightning, Reflexes, Flexible Release, Pogo Stick, Tyler's Defender, Dead Eye, Consistent Finisher, Contact Finisher, Clutch Shooter, Fancy Footwork, Fast Break Finisher, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, Slithery Finisher, Downhill, Handles for Dave, Neal Threader, Quick First Step, Space Creator, Stopping Hill, Tight Handles, and Unfluckable. And then he's got Intimidator on Gold, Heart Crusher, Pick Dodger, Corner Specialist, which is pretty good, and Interceptor. So he's, he's a decent card. Would I use him? No, but he's not a bad card. Patrick Ewing, though, I want to see what he's like if he's. Let's, let's compare him to Kareem because I don't have Bull Bull or Taco. So we're going to compare him to Kareem. 87 three-point shot. Okay. If he's better than Kareem, I might have to pick this card up. Let's see, though. All right, so Kareem is definitely better in the driving layup. He's, de he's better in the post by a little bit. Um, He's better passing, Kareem. I mean, it's not a comparison video, but hey, bro. And Patrick Young's got good defense. 84 perimeter, 84 steel, 95 block, 97 interior, 97 rebounding. It's a little bit less athletic. Uh, 
41 hall of fame badges okay see that might might be the difference maker i literally might have to pick up this patrick ewing for the bench or i can start him bro i don't know bro i don't know what to do i don't know what i should do well hold on why did i move out of the badges look at this 41 and he's got 12 gold he's got more badges than kareem so that's really good catch and shoot corner specialist pick and popper quick draw wow he's a quick draw okay and he's a great shooter, bro. Like with my coach, you have a 91-3. Hot zone hunter, green machine, flexible release, rim protector, deep fades, chase on artist, box, clamps, defensive leader, hard crusher, interceptor, intimidator, moving truck, quick first step, rebound chaser, pogo stick, post move, lockdown, tireless defender, worm, back down punisher, consistent finisher, contact finisher, deep hooks. Bro, this man is looking pretty good, pretty good. He's got pick pocket, pick dodger. He's got volume shooter, tireless shooter, acrobat. Bro, this is definitely a, a, a good card. I would love to snipe him. I would love to snipe him. If I did, I would just keep him. I'm not selling him because he can actually fit on my team. I can throw him over. He didn't have range extender though, but I can throw him over Joel Embiid or Josh Smith, one of those two. I might throw him over Josh Smith. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens, bro. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, man. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit the like. Make sure you subscribe. We're on a road to 8K. We're less than 400 subscribers off. So let's uh let's get there as soon as possible i appreciate all the love i've been getting lately you guys are really killing it man and we're gonna continue to go crazy man so yeah with that said i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one peace out